I tell you what, I took my oldest son who's home from college out biking today in the neighborhood. We're just going to have trouble getting out of the neighborhood to get to work tomorrow because of all the hills. And he was like, wait a minute, I am out of shape. I said, we all are. It's COVID. All right, well, out there today, we had a little bit of sunshine. It was nice, right? Take a look. You've got a few passing clouds across the area. That is the view over North Wilkesboro today. Dry skies, a little bit warmer, but not terribly humid. I do think we're going to turn up the heat in the coming days, and we've got some 90s in the forecast. We've kind of been talking about it all week long, and it does look like it will still come to fruition. We've got 76 right now in North Wilkesboro. A light southeast breeze. Humidity about 44%, so it's not that bad. Could always be worse in May, right? 70 in Sparta, 79 in Mount Airy, and 76 in Elkin and Yadkinville. Our temperatures are close to 80 degrees in Burlington. We are at 78 in Lexington, and temperatures tomorrow should make it above 80 in most communities. So a high of 84 tomorrow afternoon, mid 80s again on Friday, and then we're into the upper 80s and approaching 90 by the end of the weekend. And once we do hit 90, I think there's a real good chance we'll be very close to 90, if not just slightly above Sunday, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. So that would bring us a number of 90 degree days in the month of May. You see the temperatures across the area cool down toward the beach in the 70s, hot down toward Columbia at 80 and really relatively cloudy free. There's some cloud cover down to the south, but high pressure has been kind of drying us out. I do think there's enough moisture in the air when those temperatures do get down into the mid 50s and they're close to the dew points tomorrow morning. There could be some patchy fog out 5, 6, 7 a.m. You're going to watch it kind of filling in here. It won't be very thick or dense, but I do think there will at least be a little bit of low cloud cover out there early on. And then we've got sunshine for you with temperatures that stretch up into the mid 80s tomorrow afternoon. So a warm day with light winds out of the south and southeast. Numbers are also in the late and low 80s for the foothills it will quickly warm into the 70s by late morning tomorrow. 12 hour forecast for the mountains 52 tomorrow morning and then up to about 76 by tomorrow afternoon. Look at this hot air. In fact, Fargo up to 80. 83 degrees and I say hot relatively speaking because it is May, so it's a little bit early to have numbers out there to the west that are in the 80s. So you see they're also dealing with kind of that flooding that continues across the area because these fronts are just not going to be able to push into that big dome of hot air that is across the eastern half of the nation. So unfortunately for them, that means day after day of rain. For us, it means we'll keep heating up the same air mass a little bit more each passing day. I do think we'll have some passing clouds, but right now there's not much hope for any rain in our forecast. If you're hoping for that for your lawn, if you're wanting to be outdoors and you don't want the rain, you've got a great looking weekend forecast. Temperatures are in the upper 80s and the foothills and they are pushing 90 degrees in the triad in the mountains. Also looking at some clouds around on Saturday with high temperatures that are going to be in the low 80s by late afternoon down toward the beaches. If you're planning a little trip around the outer banks, you've got a high near 80 both Saturday and Sunday. It's a bit warmer toward Myrtle Beach and yes, the water temps are coming up, but they're still a bit chilly. Best one, of course, the further south you go, 72 degrees is the water temp right now in Myrtle Beach. And yes, I know you don't want to see this graphic, but National Hurricane Center is watching an area of low pressure that is there just north and east of Bermuda. Some gale force winds with it. It is headed into some warmer water. It could become a tropical system. Here's the list of our 2021 names. We start with Anna, then Bill, and work our way there through Fred, Kate, and then over to Sam. Hopefully we don't get that far. Here is our seven day forecast. Again, the temperatures are warming up and we are into the 90s starting on Sunday. Good deal. Thank you so much, Eleni. Checking out.